The big question for some is did the Lafitte's leave anything behind? And if so, where might it be? I think they really did explore the Galveston Bay area and even further down the coast of Texas. I know that they had a great presence in the uh, Texas-Louisiana border area. Every bio, every river, every waterfront, every beach in Louisiana and Texas has its own story about Lafitte treasures. And all of these have some basic element. And one is that Lafitte was a very wealthy man and left something. He buried something to come back to. Legends can be quite specific about the location of pirate booty. I have people calling me occasionally with cryptic messages or, or uh, even carved um, whale teeth with something that they say relates to Jean Lafitte and his buried treasure. There have been over the years pretty specific locations of where a treasure is buried. We have people come with treasure maps and they're trying to find the three trees that are buried under and people have dug up Galveston Island different times and they dug up other spots. There have been stories about gold coinage found in fields that were being plowed out near the location of the three trees. Um, you don't really know. Other tales are more murky. But there are a lot of tales. They're fascinating. They're all, all highly interesting. And then there's always these dubious claims of some Spanish-looking man came up and said, can I dig out by the you know, back 40? And, oh, no, we don't want you digging out there. Anymore. But then in the morning, they, they find a hole out there and a doubloon. And somehow this interesting man with a map disappears into the night, never to be seen again. Uh, that does not mean that there aren't pieces of bait or treasure found on the Galveston Beach. Uh, there is a lot of materials and shipwrecks and Spanish galleons out in the Gulf, uh, French shipping. Uh, it's going to happen on occasion. And that's why people with metal detectors do find things on occasion. Most Lafitte Society members discount the idea of pirate treasure. I think it has to do with the concept of getting something for nothing. It's maybe analogous to buying a lottery ticket for a dollar, hoping you're going to get 200 million in return. The uh, concept of buried treasure permeates the story of every outlaw, every pirate, every privateer, every shiftless no account in history they all buried something somewhere and somebody's looking for it. The stereotypical concept of a buried treasure is on a beach with a hole in the ground and a trunk being lifted out of it, brimming with jewels and money and doubloons and diamonds. The whole idea of treasure is ludicrous. Uh, if any treasure, it, 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 people find things, it's because it got lost. It's not because they buried the treasure. The more we learn about it, the less sense it really makes. For one thing, Galveston, as I've already talked about, didn't have many permanent landmarks. So if Lafitte was leaving and he burned his house, if he's leaving, the last thing he's gonna do is to bury something with no point of reference about re recovery. Another thing is sands shift. The coastline shifts. You're not gonna leave the treasure there. The third big element is basically Lafitte was broke when he left. He didn't have a lot of money. It was the end of an era. Ships that he took, we think, carried some building materials with him. So he's not gonna take wood and bricks and bury small diamonds and doubloons. At least one Lafitte Society founder has other thoughts. Treasure, I think, existed. I'm probably one of the few members of the Lafitte Society that thinks this, but there were so many things that came in on the different ships and the fact that the French were here and they were buying goods. There was money to be stored, hidden, whatever. I think that he probably would have um, stored something 
for a rainy day if he wanted to return to Galveston, possibly on the Maison Rouge property. So I think it's typical of humans to stash things away for a future. And Lafitte having to leave abruptly may have very well buried something and left things behind on Galveston Island. History, however, doesn't seem to be on the side of the Lafitte's having buried treasure. To my awareness, there's never been a major find of anything that we can tie to Lafitte. All of the romantic aspects of that pretty much obfuscate historic facts. If, if, if I found a bunch of gold coins, would I tell the rest of the world? Probably not right away. Up next, the Houston Open.